Okay, this is um, slide 17. Okay, we're going to look at a proportional relationship. Okay, and we're going to review the constant of proportionality and the unit rate, but we're also going to look at the graph and the equation. Okay, so let's just uh, work through this uh, problem. Okay, we have batches of cookie, cookies and flour. It looks like for one batch of cookies, it takes two cups of flour. For two batches of cookies, it takes four cups of flour. Okay, for three batches of cookies, it takes six. And for four batches of cookies, it takes eight. Okay, first of all, I went ahead and told you that these are proportional. This is a proportional relationship. And the reason is, is there is a constant of proportionality. Because every time I take two divided by one, every, take, every time I take a y value divided by an x value, I get the same thing. Okay, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay, that number that I always get when I take y divided by x is called the constant of proportionality. Okay, and again, that's why it's proportional, because it's always the same answer. Okay, um, the unit rate is just sticking labels with that. Okay, just think about this. When I take 2 divided by 1, I'm really taking 2 cups divided by 1 batch. Okay, 2 cups of flour divided by 1 batch is 2 cups per batch. 4 cups divided by 2 batches would be 2 cups per batch. See, it's always taking the cups of flour per batch when I divide y by x. So the unit rate is simply two cups. I don't have room to type in a flower. So I'm just going to put two cups per batch. Okay, so that's the slope. I'm sorry, the unit rate and the constant of proportionality. Okay, now I also want you to know what it looks like on the graph. So if I graphed this, you know what I want to do first. I want to label the x-axis and the y-axis. Okay, my x-axis is batches of flour. So I'm going to put in this text box on my x-axis, batches of cookies, which is x. And on my y-axis, I'm going to type in cups of flour, which is y. Okay, now I'm going to start graphing my data. Okay, one batch of cookies, two cups of flour. So I'm going to put a dot at one cup, uh, one batch of cookies, and at two cups of flour right above that. Okay, two, four is next. Two batches of cookies, four cups of flour. Okay, then three, comma, six. Just think of those as, those as coordinates on the, on the graph. Four, comma, eight would be right here. Okay, so that's showing the relationship. Okay, um, notice it does form a straight line. So let's drag the line over those points. Okay, that's showing the relationship. This relationship is shown as a straight line. And you're going to get through some examples uh, later, but also what's really important for this to be proportional is that it travels through zero, zero. Okay, it's not only a straight line when it's proportional, it also is passing through point zero, zero. Okay, um, you'll get to that again later. Okay, the equation, the equation is, we want to write it in the form y equals something x. Okay, we, there's a relationship here. The y value, cups of flour, is always equal to some number times x, which is the batches of cookies. So just think about this. 2 is equal to what number times 1? 4 is equal to what number times 2? 6 is equal to what number times 3? Do you guys see that the y value 
is always two times bigger than the x value. Okay, that's the relationship. That's the equation. The y value is always two times bigger than the x value. So my equation is y equals 2 times x. Okay, um, notice that 2 keeps popping its head in a lot of places. The 2 is the constant of proportionality. The 2 is part of the unit rate. The 2 is the number inside the equation. Okay, see what you can do with these. I'm hoping that uh, you did some of this last year, uh, but just please let me know if uh, you're confused. And when I come back to school, I'll, I'll help you guys out.